So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that there is for the point update for Grand Peace Online that just released. And we're gonna start off with the new Fishman uh, race, fighting style, whatever it is. How to get there? Well, first of all, what you have to do is you have to go northeast from Coliseum. So we're gonna go a little bit northeast. And I mean, preferably you would wanna take a boat so you can keep looking underwater, but there's gonna be kind of like how Skypea has a rock. There's gonna be a rock above the water, so if you don't wanna look underwater for whatever reason, there'll be a rock right there. So we're gonna go, kinda go northeast, a little bit off northeast, but kinda go northeast. And yeah, you guys, it's gonna be underwater as well, so if you have a double fruit, you're gonna to have to get rid of that double fruit, cause it's gonna be underwater, you're gonna to have to talk to an NPC underwater, and you'll obviously drown, so. All right, so we should be coming up on the rock any minute now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I was going northeast, but it's slightly to the right. So it's like, kind it's northeast, but kinda of like a little bit more to the east as you're going northeast, and that's my boat. So, uh, once you get here, you go underwater. I have a double fruit, and I am not resetting my double fruits. But, yeah, once you go underwater, you're gonna talk to this NPC over here. I'm gonna drown, but yeah, once you talk to this NPC over here, he's gonna have you buy, it's cause I don't have Fishman. But yeah, once you talk to him, he's gonna have you buy um, like five bottles of blood. And I think those cost about 2,000 coins, so you wanna have money before you talk to the Miguel guy. Now you want five bottles of blood because once you get five bottles of blood, you're gonna to go to Alabasta. Let's go to Alabasta real quick. Okay, so as you can see, we're on Alabasta, the front of it. Once you get over here, you wanna take your bottles of blood to this crafter over here, the blacksmith sends. Talk to him. He's gonna give you some blueprints. Um, now I don't have the bottle of blood in here, but obviously once you have the bottle, you could craft it whatever you need over here. And yeah, it's good. he's gonna give you, and he's gonna give you what you need. Now you're gonna need 10 total bottles. The boss is gonna be in the rough seas where the Kraken is. So of course, if y'all played this game, y'all know to go south, you're gonna run into the rough seas. But yeah, once you get over here, you're gonna have to fight 10 of those bosses because you need 10 shark toots or Maglodon, because that's what you're gonna be fighting, the new Maglodon boss. And you're gonna need 10 of those too. And you're gonna need a hundred normal shark tooth, which is uh, uh, kind of a pain, but at the same time, I kind of feel like we should all kind of have that. But yeah, as you can see, there's some people over here. Oh, I guess not. Is that my boat? Nope. Yeah, there are some people that were over here fighting the Maglodon. Now, I don't think the Maglodon is over here right now, but yeah. But yeah, once you have all of those items, you should be able to get the new fighting style. Now guys, of course, it'll be better if you do it with people because obviously you could only get five at a time, which means if you have other people summoning the Megalodons, that's that you don't have to go back and forth. You can just easily get the Megalodon tooth from the Megalodon that the other guys summon. So there you have it. Now some other things that came in this update is obviously the Fishman variant styles for once you get V2, which is the armor, which is this over here, shark, shark two, Dolphin and Octopus. Just like how Mink has different variants, yeah, this has different variants as well. And in my opinion, they're all ugly. Now, here are the items that you get in this update as well. Uh, here is the Maglodon armor, which just gives all of these stats as you can see over here. Oh, actually, it's not all that ugly, actually. I thought it was gonna be way uglier than this. Then there's also the Maglodon Bone Shiver. Or Maglodon Bone Shiver. It's a legendary as well. Here it is, here's the weapon. But not, last but not least, here's the helmet, the Melglodon helmet. Here's the stats for it if you need it. We're gonna put that on. Pretty ugly in my opinion. Another thing is if you hold U, there's like, or press U, there's emotes that you can press. Uh, there's an emote wheel. And last but not least, this is Easter. So there is an Easter event every five minutes. Eggs spawn on different islands that y'all can go to to get different items. And you can find different items in these eggs. These eggs spawn literally anywhere. And the items that you can get within the eggs are two to five race rerolls, dark roots, SP reset, essence, egg head, egg phone blueprint, and mini bunny. Now, what are the egg heads and the egg phone blueprint? Well, let's see real quick. So this right here is the egg phone. Uh, egg located. So this, I guess, tells you where the eggs are located. Uh, it's kind of broken for me. Is it because I'm in a test server? Well, yeah, it looks like it tells where the eggs are located with the egg phone. So you get that within the eggs. But yeah, that's everything I need to show you guys for this update. So let me know how y'all feel about this point update. And yeah, see y'all in the next video. Peace out.
Okay, but there's a few things I need to clear up. First of all, when you're going for Fishman uh, V2, it's not a blood bottle that you get. You actually get a uh, blueprint and you take that blueprint to the craft. There's a new crafting system in the game. So you can craft in this game. I guess that's how you get the new items as well. The Maglodon weapon and things of that nature. So you could craft in this game. And the blacksmith is located uh, in Shellstown, Desert Kingdom and Rose Kingdom. But yeah, any blueprints you get within the game, go to the crafter. And I also want to be more specific that you need five or 10 bottles uh, and blueprints in order to summon each Megalodon at a time. I don't feel like I was specific enough, but yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.